Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at ModernFarmer.com and they got a great article for the love of farm dogs. Some of the pros and cons of certain farm dogs. First, I'm going to mention two that aren't on this list. One, the Rat Terrier. It's a small dog used to actually get rid of rats and mice and other vermin. If you have a, mi a mice problem or a snake problem, if the snakes are there probably because you have more too many rats or too many mice. Well, a uh, rat terrier will snuss them out, get out their nests, root out their nests, and scare off some of the stragglers as well. Second one is a German Shepherd, not on this list. A German Shepherd can be used for herding animals, it can be used as a livestock guardian, and it can be used and trained to find truffles or other wild foods and edibles. Uh, of course, <clears throat> the disadvantages of the uh, German Shepherd, it's a big dog, takes a lot of food to feed it, and it's short-lived, and it can have certain back problems. Now, first up here, we have a Welsh Corgi, and they're used for herding animals. It's a smaller dog, and it la and its lifespan's kind of nice, 12 to 13 years. Remember, this is an investment. A farm dog can be a lot of money to buy up front, $500, $1,000 perhaps for a good breed, but then you have to train it. Then you have a Great Pyrenees, which is a good livestock guardian. They talk about how it likes to be out with the goats, in between the goats and the rest of the world, right by the barn door. Then they have a Legato Romanalo. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. It's basically an Italian water dog. I've looked into these as a truffle hunting dog, because this is what they were bred for, as well as uh, bird retrieving for hunting. But they are long-lived. They don't grow to be too big, but they're not too small. Um, they don't have too many health problems, a little bit of childhood epilepsy, but if you get a good breeder, they can usually uh, get that out of their breeding line. Um, and again, you can, if you have, a, for instance, a lot of uh, truffle trees or uh, trees that grow truffles on them in America, or pecans in the south, in the north, uh, spruces and uh, white pines, I believe, the dogs are a much better way to find truffles than just raking around. Then we have a mini Australian Shepherd, a great little herding, herding animal, and uh, not too much of a livestock guardian. It's a pretty small dog, but a full Australian Shepherd can be a guardian as well. Border Collie, great herding and livestock guardian animal, uh, more of a herding animal, and really that's what they're bred for. They're bred for working, so they're not really bred for looks. They have all sorts of different looks. Now you have the Dotson. This thing is bred for getting rid of badgers and other vermin. She likes to point to a hole in the ground, and the dog will just keep digging till she tells it to stop, so she can use it to dig holes for her apple trees or to dig up weeds. Um, they do have back problems, though. In fact, I have a friend whose Dotson is uh, almost paralyzed from uh, about midsection down, can barely move their back feet. And then we have a big dog, a uh, Bernese Mountain Dog. They're used to, uh, well, bread, to pull carts around, pull ten times their weight. But they do have a tendency to have hip dysplasia, and like most big dogs, they are short-lived, six to eight years. Well, we have next year's a Marama Sheep Dog, a little medium-sized dog, so it has a medium-sized life. It is from Italy, but it can grow up to be 100 pounds. And uh, let's see, temperament, independent, low energy, courageous. So, hey, livestock guardian, that's great. If you ha Another dog that's not mentioned here is the Husky. Now, the Husky is really bred for pulling sleds, and you might be able to pull uh, you know, little farm carts with it, but I believe they're pretty good at chasing away deer because they just love to run, a lot of energy. Pictured here is a Red Healer Whippet Mix, and the owner uses this dog, it was a rescue dog basically, for nursing duties uh, not necessarily wet nursing but when there's little baby chickens or whatnot the dog likes to treat them like it's its mother so there's all sorts of benefits having a dog on the farm could offer of course i will link to this page in the description if you want to read more about it if you'd like to see more news headlines like this subscribe to my channel have a great day